So let's look at example three. This is a throwback to problem one. We have the exact same sets. A is the set one, four, five, seven. B is the set two, three, four, five, six. And C is the set three, six, nine. It wants us to find A union B. Likewise, we just rewrite the set. So A is one, four, five, and seven. Union B and B was the set two, three, four, five, and six. When you see union, I want you to think of the word all. It's everything. So maybe not even think it, I don't know, all. Maybe write the word everything instead. So if you see it in a set, it's in the answer. It doesn't matter which one it is. So the one thing that I ask here is you do try to put it in order for me. So when you put it in order for me, like I see the number one, then I see the number two, three, four, five, six. That gets rid of the vast majority of them. Then the only number I see left is the number seven. So if I put everything together, it seems to me that I'm getting all the numbers one through seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's look at part B here. It says find A union C. So let's start off with the sets again. One, four, five, seven is A. Union C, C is three, six, nine. What does union mean? It means your baggage and my baggage, everything. Put it all together. So when we put it all together, let's put it in order. I see the number one, three, four, five, six, seven and nine that's what i'm seeing notice i am crossing them out as i use them just to make sure i've put it in order and i've got every element so again that was one three four five six seven and nine let's look at example four it says let d equal to set zero four eight nine let E be the set 1, 4, 5, 7, and let F be the set 2, 6, 8. Find D union E. Start by writing the sets. D is the set 0, 4, 8, and 9. Union E, which was the set 1, 4, 5, 7. And again, remember that union means we're taking it all. We're taking everything together. Your baggage, my baggage, all of it for the union. So that would be the set. Well, I see a zero, a one, a four, a five, a seven, an eight, and a nine. Looks like that's all the elements. So my answer should be exactly what I got, which was zero, one, four, five, Apologize, let me go back, something just messed up. Zero, one, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, let's look at the next problem, D union F. So write out D, which was zero, four, eight, and nine. Union F, which was two, six, and eight. Again, union means everything. Please write the sets, please write the word everything or all. And this is going to equal anything we see. I see the number 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. That looks like everything to me. Put that in the answer blank. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. OK, let's move on. It says, in mathematic problems that involve sets, the word and is to mean intersection. So if you see the word and, you're talking about intersection. And it says in the phrase, um, for instance, the phrase the elements of A and B means the elements of A intersect B. So if it's in A and B, it's something we both like, it's something we have in common, Okay, that is the intersection. Okay, then there's the word or. The word or is attempted is to mean the un word union. Now you need to be a little careful here. It's 
like for instance, if I was ordering sides, maybe I could get fries or a salad. When they offer you fries or a salad, they mean exclusively or. So what they mean is you get fries or salad, you don't get both. So in the English language, we usually use an exclusive or, one or the other, but in mathematics, it's inclusive. When I say A or B, I mean it's in A or it's in B or it's both. You could have fries or salad or both. So in mathematics, it's called the inclusive or. It's one or the other or both, okay? And is just what they have in common. So that's what that next part says. Um, you can go ahead and read that. That's what I just talked through.